All right. Uh, put on your thinking cap on the page 83. Well, I wish I had one. Okay, at the first stop along the train route, some passengers boarded an empty train. Okay, some passengers got on the train. At the second stop, three-tenths of the passengers alighted. Uh, alighted means they left the train, right? And 84 passengers boarded the train. At the third stop, two-sevenths of the passengers alighted, and 68 passengers boarded the train. The train then had 428 passengers on it. How many passengers boarded the train at the first stop? All right, straightforward, right? So what happened first? Train, empty train comes. When empty train comes, people get in, right? Uh, Three-tenths of the passengers left. So we, the people initially that got in, right? There were, okay, let's try to make it pretty. Uh, there were 10 tenths, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Perfect. 10 tenths. So we know that this part, right? They left. So I shouldn't write it wrong. So these three tenths of the passengers, they alighted, alighted. Right, they left the train. Okay, so this is our remainder that we have. Our remainder is seven units. Remainder, right? <clears throat> On that stop, when these three units, three tenths of the passengers alighted, they left. Eighty-four passengers boarded, so we got this extra. Eighty-four, eighty-four passengers got on board of the train, right? Now what we do is we draw totally same thing, right? Now the new, uh, what is it, content of the train, how many people are on the train now? On the third stop, two sevens, right? Two sevens. So what we have, we divide into seven units. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven units. Now we know that this two sevens, two sevens of the passengers alighted. So we mark it down. Alighted. Alighted. Yeah. <clears throat> and we know that on the same stop, 68 passengers boarded the train. This again, fresh people, they came in. How many of them? 68. And they tell us, after that, the train then had 428 passengers on it. So this is 428, 428, right? <clears throat> Clearly. So, uh, just not to confuse it, this was the second stop, this was the third, should I write stop, stop, right? Second stop and the third stop, what happened on the third stop? Okay, so... 428 from this number we start to go back 428 minus people that came on the third stop 68 people right we get 360 360 is this piece our five units five units five units is 360 right how much is one unit 360 divided by five is 72 72 is one unit so now we need to <clears throat> come back to our seven units before these people left right before they left there were seven units as a whole remainder so seven units seven units is how much seven times 72 504 504 is your remainder is your remainder right sorry remainder and plus these guys remainder and plus these guys so now we need to remove these guys 504 minus 84 is 420 now 420 is this how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. Again, seven units is 420. 
we need to find out how much is one unit. Do the math for one unit, 420 divided by 7 is 60. One unit is 60. But well, one we need to know with these three guys, with these three units bef before, right? How many on board it? So total is 10 units. 10 units, one unit is 60. 10 units is 60 times 10, 600. This is your answer. 600 passengers boarded the train at the first stop. All right, I believe it's the last problem in this chapter. Um, yeah, it's gonna be intimidating, but don't worry about that, step by step. Boxes A, B, and C contain 360 grams of sand altogether, okay? One sixth of sand in box A is poured into box B. One third of sand in box B is poured into box C. And one fifth of sand in box C is poured into box A. A lot of transportation of sand. There was an equal amount of sand in each box in the end. Okay, find the amount of sand in each box at first. We got it. What we do, we go from the back, right? We need to understand what happened as the last step. So this is our last step, right? The last step, we know one-fifth of C goes to A. Yeah? One fifth of sand in box C is pour, poured into box A. After that, it's gonna be an equal amount. How it's gonna look like? It's gonna look like like this. We have three boxes, A, B, and C, right? You have a unit, you have a unit and something, so this, and we have our unit, right? So our unit, our box C, it has this unit that this, oops, so it had it, but it was moved here. Again, follow up, this is the unit that we're moving. This unit, it was here, but it was moved into box A. And after that, we got an equal amount in all, in all of them, right? Now, coming back to our first sentence, they tell us A, B, and C contain 360 gram all together. Nothing. We didn't lose any sand. Sand is all there. So when we did this transportation, when we did this last step, and every, every box now has the same amount of sand, now again, the box C lost it, lost this piece of sand, and we moved this part of sand, one-fifth, right, one-fifth into A. They now have the same amount. If they have the same amount, we divide it by three. And now it's going to be 100, each box has 120 gram. Right, so one-fifth. This is how I show this fraction. There was there was five pieces, right? Five of them, and we lost this one. It got here. It got here. This one fifth. Okay. Now things get tricky here because we need to make some sort of a table, right? In order to understand which each step. So let's make let's make a table. We need to know, uh, okay, that might seem difficult, but it is not. Okay, stage, stage, okay, in the end. So in the end, there was the box A, box B, box C, right? 120 gram, we just learned that each of them has 120 gram, okay? <clears throat> in the end mm. all right so what was the movement the movement last movement last step was c to a right we moved sand from c to a how much did we move we know that this is four units right our uh, c's right now is four units there were five units one unit we moved 
our four units. So four units oh, in the box C is 120 gram, right? One unit that we moved, we can calculate it, it is 30 gram, okay? All right, <clears throat> so now we remove the sand back, One, 120, the box A is losing this one unit back, we return it back, right? Minus 30 gram, it becomes 90 gram before that. Box B was the same, right? And box C, it was 120, our four units, and we return its five fifths unit. So it is again five over five. So we return this 30 gram back to the back box C. And we get 150 gram. All right. That was our uh, last step. So we go <coughs> to the step before. What was the movement of B to B to C? Right. <coughs> B to C. Now you, if you come back to the problem over here, you can see. So. One third of sand in box B is poured into box C. How many units do we? Sorry, about that. How many units do we have? <coughs> uh, it means so one third, right? We have three units. So now, look at box B. It has 120 gram. Two units. Two units is 120 gram. It had three units before three units so one unit if two units is 120 one unit is 60 right so now this uh, this in the box a it stays the same 90 gram this amount 120 we return this back return one unit 60 back two units were here return 60 back and we get 180 gram okay where do we take this 60 from? We take it from here. So 150 gram minus 60 gram is equal 90 gram. All right? This is what we got. And the last step, last, which was the first, A to B, right? A to B. Let's read our problem again. One sixth of sand in box A is poured into box B, so we need to return it back again, right? If it is one sixth, then again, how many units total? Six units, right? Five units is 90 gram. 90 gram. Five units left over. One unit that we moved was again how much is that you five if five units 90 gram one unit is 18 gram right so we return it back from the box b to box a 90 plus 18 plus 18 108 gram okay and we take it from here 180 minus 18 is equal 162 gram and box C stays the same so this is our answer we have one we have two oops sorry about that we have one we have two and we have three this is our answer the amount of sand in boxes well, let's write it down the amount of sand in boxes a, B, and C are 108, 162, and 90 gram, respectively. Box A, box B, box C. Yeah, I know it, it's, it seems like kind of a tedious work, but if you follow the logic step by step of all the transportations, and again, uh, draw try to draw pictures on the side they're gonna help you to imagine what happens you're gonna follow step by step and you're gonna bring your answer come to your answer good luck